So I'm here hella early because it's not even quite seven o'clock yet and everything opens for vendors at eight. Also, there are parking gates, like the, the you drive through these pay stalls to pay for parking, but the arms are just up and none of the payment things work. Like I'm putting in my debit card, I'm like, nothing's working. And on the screen, it's just like, go through. And I'm like, okay, but like, I need to pay for parking at some point. Bunnies. Babies. And duckies. I can't find anything. The side I saw a couple people go to, there's just a staff entrance and then a bunch of doors that say exit only. And there's no one in sight. I even went to the other side of the building too. So maybe I should just come back at eight. Where do I go though? Oh God, parking patrol's on the move. I couldn't pay, I swear I tried. That's bright. Okay, so I just sat in the parking lot because I had nothing better to do. And then eventually I was like, okay, hey, I'm gonna go see if the parking is available to purchase because when I came in there was nothing there like I said the gates were just up so I left and did a u-turn and came back in immediately and I did manage to get my parking pass it's sixty dollars for the four days which is honestly not too bad that's cheaper than the Vancouver Convention Center but before I went and got the parking pass actually I went inside because I, I wanted my exhibitor badge and I just walked in like I came in through the side door <laughs> And I was just on the show floor and there's like no one in there. And I'm like, hello, <laughs> what do I do? But like, I could just walk in and roam the floor. I was like, uh, shouldn't there be security or something? <laughs> but anyway, it's now past eight. So the front door should be open. So I started setting up. I pretty much got the tablecloth out and was pulling out buttons. And a couple of security guys were walking by and they just started chatting with me like casually. They weren't like, hey, where's your badge? They were just like, how's it going? And then I asked about the badges and one of them went and found the place for me to get my badge. They are open right now. Got my badge. And you, there's a thing you have to do to activate your badges online, which is smart because it cuts down on counterfeit badges and you have to scan these in and out of places. So that's a smart system. I just activated both badges and now I'm gonna keep setting up. It's already quarter to nine, so I gotta hurry up. The preview opens at two, but uh, a few of us are gonna go for lunch together, so I wanna be set up by then. I'm not sure exactly I'm gonna place everything, I'll just put them somewhere for now I can move things around. Hmm, there's not much room for anything else, is there? <laughs> I went downstairs for Timmy's, but they're not open yet. <sighs> it's convenient having one so close. This one's almost too beat up to be a display point. <laughs> I gotta figure out how I'm hanging these prints because I don't have my double wide setup. So the numbering system might have to change and they'll hang a lot harder down than they usually do. I either need to do an actual print wall that goes behind me instead of being right up to the table or I have a few metal grates so I can do two metal grates as a base and then a two by two wall. I was gonna hang my tote bags on there, but I could hang some prints on there. <laughs> and so they could face sideways, cause this is gonna go up. I'm just gonna have to see how many prints down I can go. Like usually I go three down, can I go four down? My stand might be too high then. There's height restrictions on stands. Although theirs is really high. I guess I'll start taping and we'll see I might peel all the numbers off right now then because I'm going to have to redo them. Here's a look at the hall, by the way. It goes way down there. And I'm kind of by the end and there's a stage around that side. I know a lot of people do books you can flip through for prints, but I don't like that. I want them to be visible. Okay, layer one done. It fits very nicely if I do five verticals and then a horizontal. I only have two horizontal ones of this size though. The rest are smaller, like these ones, they're my 11 by 14s. 
so it won't be perfect, but I'm just gonna keep going, see how it looks. You guys, they just turned on all these lights. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm trying to use tablecloth clips to clip up not only my cloth, but the one that is attached to the table, and it's stapled. Oh man, these tables are so thick, my cloth can't get around it. So it's a thick table plus two cloths. On this side, I just clipped it to the table leg. <laughs> and that seems to be working. Boy, I do have extras. Oh, good. So I don't have as many squibbers as I thought I did. I only have like five or six, you guys. That's a big problem. <laughs> and lots of Waluigi, so he's the biggest seller. But a lot of people like to get both. I just assumed based on how things went at Fan Expo, I was like, oh, there's one. There are other ones that don't have that many, like the Link one, but it's not that popular. And there's some that aren't popular that I just have a bajillion of because they just haven't sold on the, at like any convention like that one. Bowsettes don't really sell either. Um, what else? I don't know if I sold a ton of these too, but I've only had them at like one convention. This one's here for the first time. This one I brought back at the last convention. That one's not hugely popular. So I'm on the Staples website. I tried calling, but it's all an automated thing. Um, they do the same day printing, and if I submit before noon, which it is, I can have it by 6 p.m., but I won't be able to pick that up because I'm gonna be here. But I can pick it up tomorrow before the artist alley opens because tomorrow doesn't start till noon, so I could just go there in the morning tomorrow. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want. Like, I could do a few Waluigi's to be safe. And I have eight Squidward's. I have more than I thought I did, but it's still not many. I might do more Waluigi's just to play it safe. The thing is, I want to sell out of prints because I have so many weird sizes. I, I mean, some are gonna have to stay weird, like the square ones, but I want them all to be either square or 11 by 14. But I have some A3s and some 11 by 17s. It's all over the place. So I want to get rid of as much of my print stock as possible, but I just feel like for these two guys, I need, I need more. I do have the files on Google Drive, so I can just submit from my phone. This is great. I just fought with the Staples website for way too long. For same day items, you're so limited because I was uploading a tall, narrow file, but it would automatically shrink it down to eight and a half by 11 and add white borders on the sides. And then if I wanted it 11 by 17, it would take that eight and a half by 11 with the white borders on the sides and stretch that to be 11 by 17. Oh. So they're not gonna be 11 by 17. They're gonna be more like 10 by 14 or 10 by 12 and a half or something. Well, they're gonna be 11 by 17. I'm gonna have to cut them out. It's a whole thing, but I just I wanted them. They weren't that expensive. That's what I get for doing the same day thing. I mean, I'm still gonna go tomorrow to pick them up, but their full service thing would have taken longer. And I'm like, oh, I'll just take these weird, weird size prints as backups. The Mr. Bun Bun one might be okay. It's just gonna have more of a white border than it already does. Because right now it has just a teeny bit of border on the side and then a lot top and bottom. It'll just be a little bit smaller, but that one might not need trimming. In fact, it would fit in the frame a bit nicer because the sides won't get cut off. One of my screws came out on my acrylic stand, so I just put some tape here to hold it in. It has a screw right here, but this one came out somewhere. It's hopefully in my bin, but I'll look for it later. I'll look a wild nude. <laughs> this is my behind the table setup prints there. I still have to do my print list because it's not in order right now. Like a little chart. Oh. That thing, I gotta reorder it. I did not end up having room for my pin thing with the awkwardly shaped display thing. Didn't even have room for that. This I'm bringing back to the car. I have to empty some stuff out here, but this will be gone and the chairs will be here. And here is my display from the front. Woo! It kind of looks like my display stand should be moved over a little bit, but I'm actually at the uh, very edge of my area. This marking's on the floor. And it's also just pushed back. Usually I have it right against the table, but it's pushed back, so it's different. But if, because it's a full wall, I can't have it right up to the table. Otherwise, where am I gonna stand behind the fence? <laughs> it's all my old branding, but you know. This is still probably my best setup ever because it is dense, it's filled up nicely. There's lots of vertical elements. I think it looks great. I just don't have my button stand, but whatever. Got the totes there, the book, my little square sign saying I accept debit and credit and whatnot. Buttons, 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 bags for the buttons. We got the stickers here. Is my ISO still too high? Yeah. 
And then here's my little enamel pin holder. Oh my god, it's so cute. It works so well. I still think pinning to a pin board is a nicer way to do it than this, but just for my current table setup, this worked out so well. This is a little covered and squished, but you know, it's fine. I'm just surprised I managed to get my tall banner in there because I thought it wasn't going to fit. It wouldn't have fit. If I had someone immediately next to me, I'd be overhanging a little bit. Let's see? This is my way in and out. Hopefully I don't knock everything over. I think this is what I'm going to hit the most. I'm tempted to just take the business cards out and set them on the table and not have the sign. But I like promoting that I have the YouTube channel, so yeah. Yeah, this is going to be where I squeeze in and out. My fanny packs are going to hit everything. But it'll be okay. It'll be good. A couple of the prints you can't really see unless you're up close, but it's fine. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. We're gonna be going out for lunch soon. Just a few of us together. And then I have to haul stuff out to my car as well on my dolly, which I just pushed aside so I could film my booth. <laughs> this makes me wanna do more conventions. I'm like, look how cute. I always wanna do more conventions when I'm at conventions. And then when I'm at home trying to get everything done, I'm like, oh no. I haven't posted to YouTube in so long. Oh no. I have to tweak five million camera settings every time I switch between indoors and outdoors because it's so bright out here compared to there. It's such a beautiful day. I'm excited. Ooh. This area is so cool. And these chair lifts actually work. You can ride on them when, when they do have them operating at certain times, like during Stampede and I don't know when else. <laughs> we dick. That's not very nice. The we dick meat market. We're <laughs> oh, gonna back at my table. I made it just as the artist alley was opening. Okay, I'm doing a little craft project. These first two hours are VIP only. So only people with VIP tickets can come in for the first two hours. I made a few sales already, but it's still pretty slow. It's still VIP. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to start pressing some buttons and just restock things in general. These are all the buttons I pulled off my big pin board the other day. And I'm gonna put these all in the button case. Now that the lids are off, even if there's one that's full, it'll still fit on top. So I can empty out the entire bag right now. Okay, it's now open. Oh, I guess I gotta restock a bit. <laughs> I'm just like, wait a minute, how come I can actually see through this right now? So what am I? Oh. Uh. What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, that now that the little preview hours are done, there's more people coming in. So it's starting to get busier, although there's a little low right now, which is why I'm vlogging. <gasps> Hello! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but hi! <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> yeah, can I have a hug? Yeah, sure. Oh my God. Look at this cute card I just got. I don't want to show the whole message on the inside. It's on the top, but I'm going to show that. Hope to see you soon. So cute. This is another card I got. Look, with the coffee. I guess it's just been pretty decently busy for Thursday. Like, I haven't even touched these in probably 15 to 20 minutes. Hi, Hello! I actually follow <laughs> you on YouTube. I actually had no idea you were coming to Comedy Expo, so... Oh really? Like, you just saw me just now? Yeah, I just saw you and I was like, oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, when there's empty tables, and there's double empty table across from me. But it kind of works out, I guess, because then there's nothing to look at over there, so they look this way. But I still just like the space to be filled. Although, the guy who over there with the masks, he kind of spread out onto the table next to him, which is good. I like that. I just feel like if places are too bare, people will rush past them faster, so I like that he's filling the space. My lips are so chapped. <laughs> I'm just talking to my crotch. Don't mind me, people. Look at this cute Polaroid we took together. Eee! <laughs> Thank you so much. Finally getting my coffee at 6 p.m. And it's still too hot to drink. Actually, it's 6.30. Oh no. Every time I look up, the masks are spread further and further. They have now taken over 
all free tables. I'm surprised he just pulled all those masks from under the table. He put out like two at a time. And every time I looked up, I'm like, they refugees. Right after I stopped vlogging, he added a couple more masks. They're breeding like rabbits. It's five minutes later, he added three more masks. I'm multiplying. How many fit back there? It's like a clown car. I want to see if I can grab an overview of the room. Yeah. Guys, we have Taylee here. She wanted to be in the vlog. Look at her awesome sweater. Look at the Squidwards. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, it's 8.55. Oh my god, my lips. I mean, they do hurt. Yeah, that's why they look so dark. I'm like, was I drinking blue Gatorade? No. It's 8.56. Four minutes left. It definitely slowed down a lot for the last two to three hours. But I think the day overall went by pretty fast. Although it did start in the afternoon. Tomorrow, it's noon for general admission and then 11.30 for VIPs. And then Saturday, Sunday, it's 9.30 for VIPs, 10 for everyone else. So at least I can sleep in a little bit more tonight. That'll be my one night of valet parking just so I can not have to be out of my stall by seven in the morning when Artiselli doesn't even open till 11.30. I just wanna sleep a little bit more tonight. It was really hard to stay awake today. I was just, I have that feeling of either you sleep very little or you just stay up all night and your face is like, your eyes are just, <laughs> that's me. When I was standing in line at Tim Hortons, I felt like I was gonna fall asleep standing. That's when I was the most tired, when, it was when I was standing and actually moving around. I was like, usually sitting is when you start to doze off, but it was just like, wow. I'm up and moving, and I'm still falling asleep. But I had the coffee. Hopefully that'll get me through the movie. It starts at 9.45, and you know there's gonna be like 15 to 20 minutes of preview, so let's just say it starts at 10. That means I get out at 1 a.m and then I have to drive back. Which is just a few minutes, but still. I'm just gonna update what the table looks like, but honestly it looks about the same. I restocked a lot of buttons. I didn't press that many. There's some I'll have to press tomorrow. Like, I was hole punching a bunch of the original art ones because those are low. Oh, bye. <laughs> There's some other ones getting low. Isabel, Natsuki, oh. Luna's a little low, Voldemort. Even though it was slow the last little while, I had lots of great conversations with people who stopped by my table because it was just like nice and chill and we did talk for a while. So yes, I met so many of you guys. Thank you for stopping by. I didn't count how many books I had before today, but I sold, I think four? Yeah, I think four. And I have seven left. Thick Dino's getting a little low. I have those three plus three more underneath the table. Kiki and Minna, there's still a decent amount. I had more of those than I did Thick Dino's going into today. And then I have a whole bunch of candy cane buns, because why not? They're probably not all gonna sell, but you know. I actually have some of the really old ones. The first run of candy cane buns, still wrapped in everything. I do have more of these at home though. I didn't bring all the ones I had because I have a lot of the candy cane buns left. But for the Kiki Midnight Thick Dino, I brought as many as I could. I think I left two of one, like I think I left two Thick Dinos at home and three, three Kiki Midnight's just for replenishing orders that get screwed up and things like that or just like someone's order goes missing, I would need a replacement. Although my new order should be coming very soon, hopefully. The restock plus new designs. It would have been nice to have those for this color, but eh, I figured they probably wouldn't come in time. It's very borderline. I haven't even been sent the proofs yet. The Well, they're like samples, but at that point they're actually all already made. They just send you a picture and you go, yep, and then they ship it out to you. And the shipping only takes a few days, so that's nice. But I'm just waiting on the, the pictures. But yes, overall, a slow day yet decent and like lots of good encounters with people and conversations which is always nice sometimes it gets too busy and people feel like they have to quickly move out of the way and that's not fun so yes nice and chill oh and the masks 
crack on them. Ah! These containers are still really full. <laughs> I didn't get around to pressing that many, so that extra stock I have at the hotel of spare button parts, probably way too many, which I anticipated. I just, you know, I like being ready. Today was a slow day, so we'll see how the other days go. But at least for tomorrow, I don't need to pack more of these. Okay, everything is moved under the table. This is my garbage. This is my water I'm gonna bring. I don't know, I might have to dump it or something. I don't know. <laughs> just put it in my tote bag. I'm gonna steal one of these tote bags because I just have my fanny packs and I don't wanna leave my big camera in my car, but I don't wanna just waltz into a movie theater with it around my neck. So it needs to go in a bag. So yeah, I'm just gonna head straight for the theater from here and I'll see you after the movie in the hotel. Don't worry, I'm not gonna talk about the movie at all. I'll probably just say, it was good, yeah. In fact, I just said it now, so I'll take that as my review. Yeah, it was great, yeah. It was good.